what is up everybody we're back with yet another video with the g80 today i'll be giving you guys a little rundown of a two-month ownership review honest review is it really worth the upgrade was it worth the upgrade um if you guys are interested in the market obviously i hope this helps you out make that decision if um it is worth the upgrade so let's get right into this video so all right everybody this is going to be my 2022 g80 m3 two-month ownership review um, this obviously is a Dravic Gray M3 G80 with the Fiona Red uh, carbon bucket seats interior. So comparing me upgrading from the Super, obviously to me this is such a better car. Like all in all, you get such a bigger car, like such a more spacious car, you know, easier to make quicker. Because all in all, that's the goal, make it quicker, make a car quicker. But with this car, it's just so easy to make quick. So it's perfect with the obviously the red interior is just everybody loves the carbon bucket seats Everybody always goes crazy for the bucket seats and I see why they're such sick ass cars such as six seats And then obviously so coming from the Supra you don't have that much space obviously you can only back up the 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 seats a little bit before you hit the um, bar That is behind you and then on top of that you have the S58 thing I got a little a little viper passing by okay but so the obviously the super has a b58 single turbo which sounds better than the twin turbo s58 but obviously you're going from a single turbo to a twin turbo which is a better upgrade on top of that you have the all-wheel drive compared to the super which is just rear wheel drive obviously you need a fat tire for that this all-wheel drive hooks and books it's just such a all-in-all -all better car to me and then i'm gonna show you guys the engine and talk about that so here we have the s58 engine realistically all you need guys downpipe tune e50 you are gonna make damn near what i made with thirty thousand dollars invested into the supra realistically like motor wise it was probably like in the 20s with the transmission and everything but with this car literally downpipe tune e50 you are making like mid 700s like that is insane this comes with the s58 engine twin turbo compared to the b58 single turbo so yes this is a lot easier to make quicker so in all in all in all like it is like performance wise it is much better as well because you get the all-wheel drive they do sell these in rear wheel drives but honestly it's all-wheel drive robust it, because realistically like making 700 horsepower with like 700 torque you're gonna be spinning like crazy if you don't get all-wheel drive so or if you don't get a tire but i got the all-wheel drive so um i'll be set once i fully send it currently i just have the front mount intakes the um catalyst down pipes that's about it so um yeah the motor wise comparison is not really a comparison the beefy dates are a little bit deeper right now into the eight oh no into i think they just hit seven seconds in the quarter mile but i mean that car's been out for a couple of years already the s58 has two but all in all like this is getting there you know nine second car with down pipe and tune so that's just insane so look wise this is a way bigger car compared to the super obviously um the super is a beautiful car don't get me wrong i do miss it sometimes but this is such a beautiful car like I'll show you guys in a little bit the paint, but it is insane in the sun. Um, so the goods and the, the I'll talk. Let's talk about the goods and the bad. So the goods are it's just a, such an amazing car. The carbon bucket seats, you know, just make me like want to live in this car. <laughs> Not really, but realistically, like I'm a smaller person, so the carbon buckets fit me good. Obviously, if you're a big person, I wouldn't recommend getting the carbon bucket seats but obviously that's that's an option they all don't come that way um what else is the goods the goods is like it gets really good um miles per gallon obviously it is a little expensive to fill it up but trust me it lasts me a very long time on a full tank another good that you have is you're you're making like i believe like close to 500 wheels stock that is insanely quick for a stock car <laughs> So a good also is that you're it's so easy to make quick, which um, a lot of cars you have to dump hella money into it. Obviously this is an expensive car. I understand that you guys can say that is obviously the price difference, but realistically like 
you don't need to put much money into it and it's already such a beautiful car obviously this is lowered on springs but even without it um it's it's pretty nice what else what else can i say um so now let's talk about one bad because realistically to me my personal opinion there is no bads in this car guys you get so much of a car for the price like it's insane like the amount of car that you get for this price it just to me it was obviously worth it obviously that's why i got it because this color this interior everything about it the motor obviously it just made me fall in love because it was in between this or a gtr or a mark 4 supra but a gtr to me is so outdated interior wise interior wise you are so outdated like like you are not getting this in a gtr you're not getting the screens you're not getting the apple carplay you're not getting the iDrive 7. Um, I feel like the GTRs do lack the interior wise um, for the price, for the car it is like, this was this is cheaper than the 2017 GTR and you get a lot more car. Um, obviously, full bolts on GTR. I think that's 58 wins, obviously being full bolts on as well, E85. Um, but, yeah, I feel like the GTR lacks a lot. And then the Mark IV Supra, I didn't get it because it's such an expensive car, guys, for so much things that you need to do to it. Um, you need to do so much to it, like, re like replace a lot of old, it's an old car, so you obviously have to replace a lot of the old parts. So that's a bad, that, that, that is uh, why I got the G80 compared to all the other cars on the market. Now, one of the bads that I do have is the brake dust on these damn BMWs my goodness right now it's clean because i literally just washed it for today's video but my goodness one day of driving it these wheels are full of brake dust disgusting like that i just don't understand like it's so in like it's just so bad like i've never seen brake dust this quick like literally one day of driving it and the next day they're literally filthy as hell i'm gonna see if i have a picture i don't think i do but if i do i'll drop it here but it uh, the brake dust on these cars is probably the only bad thing about this car if you guys see any other bads on this car obviously the front grille was something that i didn't like the oem when i got the car i understand a lot of people are against the oem so am i because it just did not look well but now with this carbon fiber front end imagine like a front lip with this like it's gonna look gorgeous but that's why i have the carbon fiber grill right now with the front mount intakes now you can't say this does not look good because this is such a sick car so yeah guys like realistically like in the two months that i've owned this car i've enjoyed it so much like i don't think i've ever enjoyed the super this much this car is so quick like it breaks so many necks so many people love this car and i can and you know i'm i myself and i'm in love with this car still and there's so much more left that i can do to it you know this that's the good thing about these cars that it's just endless the mod list on this is like endless like there's so many things to do like i have such a huge list that of things i want to do but slowly but surely i'm getting there guys obviously i do the lowering springs the carbon steering wheel the intakes the down pipes it just gets it's obviously another bad thing is it's just you know compared to supra your big difference of like mods i guess like the market for these cars just so much more expensive it's literally bmw tax for no reason but yeah and then obviously the trunk space is um i think the super does have a bigger trunk obviously but it's just a two-seater but either way you get a pretty big trunk obviously i have the wires for all the starlights but i need to fix that but yeah it's pretty a decent sized trunk so and then on top of that i got the carbon like the kit around obviously the oem had the little diffuser and carbon had the the diffuser and carbon and then um it also came with uh, also was packaged with the carbon inlets the bottom inlets obviously i put the grill but the inlets i did not put so if you ask me a uh, old like a uh, previous mark 5 super owner i'm gonna tell you that do the upgrade <laughs> because you get such like so much car like i said so much car compared to a supra um the supra i do like like i said it, it probably does it does sound better the b58s do sound better than um than the s58 but besides that i don't know i just 
so many so many super owners are asking me like was it worth it like yes a thousand times like you get so much more space now you can actually bring friends along with you compared to the super i can only bring one and then even then like they were just like just don't have space at all like you literally move the seat back a little bit and you're already touching like the the little bar brace bar that it has so so in the two month ownership that i've had the car obviously i cannot complain at all um only thing like i said is a brake dust the brake dust is just what really pissed me off but i can live with it, you know because the car i'm getting all wheel drive um the interior obviously it came with this came with all the red fiona like even the bottom of the dash um the carbon steering wheel obviously i put it because the oem wheel does any car i feel like any car the oem wheel is slacking they always slack on oem wheels but obviously little upgrade carbon fiber it's all it takes but then the dash such a nice dash as well when driving um the i drive a you know can't complain about it put the low m lights on it um two months of ownership guys i feel like this is my dream car and that i want to keep for a very long time and make very quick so obviously if you guys are new to the channel make sure you just subscribe so you guys can stay along um but yeah obviously this package this spec is damn near 100k obviously i didn't pay that because i bought it off somebody i um a car came with like 8,000 miles when I bought it, but it was like in brand new condition. Like he babied it. Like there was nobody ever in the back seats, but it's just damn near. It was like like right around 100K when optioned. Um, so this is obviously a very big jump from the Super that is like 50. I think they were going for 60s when they first came out. Um, but yeah, guys. So if you have any other um questions on the upgrade just make sure you hit me up on the instagram i get back to everybody that has questions but yeah guys um that's gonna be it for this video i did go over all the goods and the bads like obviously more goods could be like you're just it's like literally a flex driving around in this car you know like i try not to, i try to be like i am humble as anybody you'll ever meet like i'll literally talk to anybody i'll never ever be a cocky person but this car is literally like a flex you know um the paint is a plus the carbon buckets is a plus on these cars so those are all goods the bads are the only bads that i can say is the uh, brake dust brake dust yeah that's literally about it <laughs> Can't complain, 500 horsepower, all-wheel drive car um, with bucket seats. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to show you guys the paint right now and then we'll close out the video. So there you guys have the paint. It's called Drive It Gray. Look how sick it looks. Look at the, the, the gold sparkles that it has. This paint is like probably the sickest BMW paint I've ever seen. Like you just see all the gold sparkles in the sun. And then in the shade, it looks like a dark nardo like close to nardo gray you know it's like <sighs> can't ever like go wrong with this color like it's so many different shades of like gray look that Shh, all the gold sparkles but yeah guys this is my g80 m3 two month review if you guys are in the market for one don't double think it <laughs> trust me you guys get a lot of car for um what it is probably like in that price range is probably like a lot of car like probably one of the best cars you can get for that price if not the best um it is a lot of car that you guys get so if you're on the market don't double think it buy that g80 m3 make sure you guys subscribe like this video and comment what other videos you guys like to see because uh, this is one this one this video was a requested video that people wanted to see that you know was it worth the upgrade um the goods and the bads so if you guys are in the market for a g80 go ahead and do it and then if you have any questions just make sure to hit me up on the gram i reply to everybody like i said and thank you guys for watching peace